Let me show everything that you can get in this math toolbox kit. You can personalize your student's name if you want to. If not, you can use the one that is not personalized. And this goes on top of a pencil box or you could put it inside of a Ziploc bag. And inside you can keep your manipulatives. These should change out throughout the year depending on what skills you're working on. You've got a color chart that goes inside. You can add your manipulatives. If you don't have manipulatives, there are some provided that you can print that you can print out like these. And there's coins, there's fish, there's all kinds of manipulatives that you can add to it if you don't have any yourself, or you can add some yourself. I like to add a dry erase marker with a little pom-pom at the end of it so that you can easily erase things. And inside you'll find there are different kinds of dice. There are a lot of different spinners. You've got different ones to choose from and they're also editable so that you can add whatever you would like to the spinners to go with whatever you're working on. You've got true and false that the kids can use to tell you if they think something's true and false, they can hold it up. You've got numbers with the little 10 frame down below and the 20 frame down below. Let me move this. Now I like to laminate all of mine so that the kids can write right on top of it with their dry erase marker. But you could also, if you don't want to laminate them, you can put them inside of one of these plastic folders so that the students can write their their items on top they can change things in and out this one you'll find that there is a traceable number line to 10 there's also one for 20 fat family house different kinds of shapes this is where the students can write the number like nine and then say what comes before what comes after Here's numbers to 20 that are traceable. Here are different number paths that students could use, one through 10. There's one for one through 20. You could also use this for non-standard measurement. Here is a 10 frame that the students can put their different objects on. These also come printable if you don't have these counters in your classroom. There is a numbers chart. To 100. This is fun. This is where the students will put a number between 1 and 10. Say they put 9, then they would show 9 on the 10 frame. This helps students realize what 1s, 10s, 100s, and 1000s are. If you don't want them to learn about the 1000s, you can simply cut that side off. Here's a place value mat for hundreds, tens, ones, or you could just do tens and ones. Here is your number bonds, whole, part, part. Students can write the number inside of the hole and then pull them apart. This is your sorting mats. You have one that has two circles and this one has three circles. They're all are goldfish or whatever color fish inside, provided inside for you to print and the students can simply sort things that you have inside of their kit. This is money, so they can help them identify the different coins. There are blank clocks. There's also one that has a digital on the bottom of it, so they could put the hands in and write the digital. And then this is a greater than, less than. They can put a number here if they wanted to. They could use the number cards in here that are provided. And they could put one and three. So three is greater than one. And that is it for the math toolbox or toolkit that you can get from my store. The things that are edible are the names. There's also 
a scoring sheet to help you guys keep data on your students. You can edit that. You can edit all of the spinners. I've got every size in there that you can think of and you can edit those. This makes cleanup really easy. Students keep their germs to themselves by having their own little box and they absolutely love using the tools and switching them out for whatever unit you're working on.